নমস্কার শুভ সন্ধ্যা এসপিসি ক্রাফটের তরফ থেকে আপনাদের সকলকে সুস্বাগত আজকে সন্ধ্যা কোনো রাবীন্দ্রিক সন্ধ্যা নয় আবার শুধুই পাশ্চাত্য সৃষ্টি নিয়ে আলোচনারও নয় আজকের এই অনুষ্ঠান মেলবন্ধনের শান্তি প্রতিষ্ঠার ঔপনিবেশিক অভিশাপকে ভুলে শুধুই যোগসূত্র কিংবা প্রভাব খুঁজে নেব আমরা আর সেই প্রচেষ্টার মাধ্যম হিসেবে আমাদের সাথে থাকছেন শ্রীমতী শ্রাবণী সেন ডক্টর সৌমিত্র সেনগুপ্ত ও অগ্নিমিত্র পল এবং আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের গুণঞ্জার শ্রী সুজয় প্রসাদ চট্টোপাধ্যায় কিছু মানুষ আছেন যারা কর্মসূত্রে অত্যন্ত ব্যস্ত থাকেন তাদের নিজেদের শিল্প চর্চা সম্ভব হয় না কিন্তু তারা শিল্পীদের এবং শিল্পচিন্তক মানুষদের সবসময় পাশে থাকেন সেইভাবেই আমরা পাশে পেয়েছি সেঞ্চুরি প্লাইকে আরও পাশে পেয়েছি কেয়ারিং মাইন্ডস এবং এক্সপিমা কমিউনিকেশন প্রাইভেট লিমিটেডের মতো কোম্পানিদের এছাড়াও আমরা পাশে পেয়েছি শ্রাবণী সেন মিউজিক একাডেমি এবং এসপিসি ক্রাফটের মতো শিল্প প্রতিষ্ঠানকে এরপর ধন্যবাদ জানাবো স্প্রিং আইডিয়াস এবং কমিউনিকেশন যাদের সহযোগিতা ছাড়া আমাদের প্রচার মাধ্যমের মাধ্যমে আপনাদের কাছে পৌঁছনো সম্ভব ছিল না সব শেষে ধন্যবাদ জানাই শ্রী গৌতম দেব এবং বনিজ হাটকে আমাদের পাশে থাকার জন্য এরপর দেখে নেব আমার আরেক বন্ধু শ্বেতাকে এবং তার হাত ধরে আমরা মূল অনুষ্ঠানের দিকে এগিয়ে যাব তার আগে দুটি অনুরোধ আমরা সবাই এরকম একটি অনুষ্ঠান অনুষ্ঠানে উপস্থিত হই শুধুমাত্র সেই সময়টুকুকে উপভোগ করার জন্য তাই সেই সময়টুকুতে আশা করি আমাদের মোবাইল ফোনটি নিষ্ক্রিয় থাকবে এবং আমাদের যে বন্ধুরা আজকে এখানে উপস্থিত নেই তাদেরকে আমরা কোনো রকম ভিডিও কিংবা ফেসবুক লাইভের মাধ্যমে অনুষ্ঠান দেখার সুযোগ করে দেব না ধন্যবাদ Good evening everyone and welcome to Footprints. Poetry has been a part of our lives. Poetry is the air beneath our invisible soul wings. In words of William Wordsworth, poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. It takes its origin from emotions recollected in tranquility. Poetry, like Alice's Wonderland, unlocks our psyche and opens the gateway to the treasury of an ever-evolving creative consciousness. Poetry is both surreal and real. On one hand, it has always given us the wings of our poesy, and on the other hand, it mirrors society's pragmatism. Poetry transports us to myriad lands and ancient times, as Tagore writes in Stray Birds. The smell of the west earth in the rain rises like a great change of praise from the voiceless multitude of insignificant. Tonight, there is a stir among the palm leaves, a swell in the sun. Full moon, like the heartthrob of the world. From what unknown sky hast thou carried in? Thy silence, the aching secret of love. Only a soulful soul involved in a sensual bond with nature could birth these lines. Our poet laureate Tagore could do that. World poets like Tagore and others have always been opening soul windows through intense vision and a longing desire to seek the unknown and the unnamed. That's how Keats was inspired from Shakespeare. That's how Goethe sought inspiration from Kalidasa Shakuntala and Tolstoy inspired Gandhiji. Poetry opens doors within us to come home to a Keatsian philosophy 
of beauty is truth, truth, beauty. And today with footprints, we wish to serenade that philosophy. But before we start, we would like to thank our friends and patrons, Shravani Sen Music Academy, Century Ply, a leading manufacturer and supplier of plywood. Our patrons also include XP Mark Communications, Bonni Hearts, Caring Minds, Spring Idea Communication, and the ICCR. We also heartily thank Sanjay Agarwal, Meenu Budhia, Kaushik Rai Chaudhuri, Chandra Ghosh, Shravani Sen, Gautam De, Aurindam Banerjee, Joy Dipna, Raju Shitaj Gupto, members of the SPC Craft, Urvashi Basu, Sudeep Basu, Agni Mitra Paul, Mahindri Chakraborty, Shweta Dev, Preetha Biswas, Orko Goswami, and Dr. Shobitra Sengupta. So ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start our presentation. And with that, I would like to call on stage Dr. Shobitra Sengupta, Shravani Sen, Agni Mitra Paul, and our very own Shujai Prashad Chatterjee. Robert Frost, born in San Francisco, Robert Lee Frost, an American poet, gained much appreciation for painting rural England in the minds of its readers through his verse. Frost impressed his readers with his excellent command over the American colloquial speech. And with his creative acumen, he blended that with a realistic verse that etched out the lives of ordinary people and random happenings. For Frost, the natural world had two faces that he wrote about in his romantic poems having an edifying emphasis. Nature, for Frost, was both a hero and a mentor. above the forest call, tomorrow they may form and go. Oh, hushed October, morning mild, begin the hours of this day, slow. Make the day seem to us less brief, hearts not adverse to being beguiled. Beguile us in the way you know. Release one leaf at break of day. At noon, release another leaf. One from our trees, one far away. Retard the sun with gentle mist. Enchant the land with amethyst. Slow. Grape sick if they were all, whose leaves already are burnt with frost, 
whose clustered fruit must else be lost for the great sake along the world. O oh, hushed October morning mild, thy leaves have ripened to the fall.
Bob Dylan, 1965, witnessed Bob Dylan's phenomenal success with Like a Rolling Stone. The world saw the author, songwriter, and artist as uncanny, mystified, and unbridled. And it wasn't just about the way he looked. There was more than his gaunt appearance and mazy hair. What set him apart from other artists was something very uplandish. It was Dylan's way of shaping language. Like a rolling stone was surreal in the way it blended known with the unknown. His creations brought to mind wild and shifting visions that few termed as poetically bizarre and for many it was a fresh new art. and brotherhood, oh, what might be the cost? A man, he did it long ago, and they hung him on a cross. Long ago, far away, these things don't happen no more nowadays. The chains of slaves, they dragged the ground with heads and hearts hung low. But it was during Lincoln's time, and it was long ago, Long ago, far away, things like that don't happen no more nowadays. The war guns, they went off wild. The whole world bled its blood. Men's bodies floated on the edge of oceans made of mud. Long ago, far away. Those kind of things don't happen no more nowadays. One man had much money. One man had not enough to eat. One man, he lived just like a king. The other man begged on the street. Long ago, far away. Things like that don't happen no more nowadays. One man died of a knife so sharp. One man died from the bullet of a gun. One man died of a broken heart to see the lynching of his son. Long ago, far away, things like that don't happen no more nowadays. Long ago, Far away. Things like that don't happen no more nowadays.
is a hospital where every patient is possessed with the desire to change beds. One man would like to suffer in front of the stove and another believes that he would recover his health beside the window. It always seems to me that I should feel well in the place where I am not. And this question of removal is one which discusses incessantly with my soul. Tell me, my soul, poor chill soul, what do you think of going to live in Lisbon? It must be warm there. And there you would invigorate yourself like a lizard. This city is on the seashore. They say that it is built of marble and that the people there have such a hatred of vegetation that they uproot all the trees. There you have a landscape that corresponds to your taste. A landscape made of light and mineral and liquid to reflect them. My soul does not reply. Since you are so fond of stillness, coupled with a show of movement, would you like to settle in Holland, that beatifying country? Perhaps you would find some diversion in that land whose image you have so often admired in the art galleries. What do you think of Rotterdam? You who love forests of masts and ships moored at the foot of houses? My soul remains silent. Perhaps Batavia attracts you more? There we should find, amongst other things, the spirit of Europe married to tropical beauty. Not a word. Could my soul be dead? Is it then that you have reached such a degree of lethargy that you acquiesce in your sickness? If so, let us flee to lands that are analogues of death. I see how it is, poor soul. We shall pack our trunks for Tonio. Let us go farther still to the extreme end of the Baltic or farther still from life, if that is possible. Let us settle at the pole. There the sun only grazes the earth obliquely and the slow alternation of light and darkness suppresses variety and increases monotony. But half nothingness. There we shall be able to take long baths of darkness while for our amusement, the aurora borealis shall send us its rose-colored rays that are like the reflection of hell's own fireworks. At last, my soul explodes and wisely cries out to me, no matter where, no matter where, as long as it's out of the world, no matter where, no matter where, as long as it's out of the world. Hallelujah, I am
with his essays, poetry, and the genre-bending fiction. The author was a popular founder and a principal practitioner of post-modernist literature, a movement that distances literature from life's situations to reflect the creative process and engage in critical self-inquiry. His works were profoundly erudite and widely read. Borke can be considered as a polymath who discoursed seamlessly on American and European literature. colors. Tonight, the moon, bright circle, fails to dominate space. Patio, channel of sky. The patio is the slope. Is the slope down which sky flows into the house. Serene, Eternity waits at the crossroad of stars. It's so pleasant to live in the friendly dark of entranceway. Abba and cistern at evening they grow weary. The patios two or three colors. Jokun Jokun
Santiago Baca got abandoned by his parents. At a tender age of 13, he ran away from an orphanage where his grandmother had kept him. Most of Baca's works were about social justice. He also welcomed themes of community, addiction, as well as the American Southwest burial. In his own words, the poet said, I approach language as if it will contain who I am as a person. The statement shows that Baka believed in the transformative power of spoken words and language. I'm offering this poem to you. I'm offering this poem to you since I have nothing else to give. Keep it like a warm coat when winter comes to cover you or like a pair of thick socks. The gold cannot bite through. I love you. I have nothing else to give you. So it is a pot full of yellow corn to warm your belly in the winter. <laughs> it is a scarf for your head to wear over your hair, to tie up around your face. I love you. Keep it. Treasure it as you would if you were lost, needing direction. In the wilderness, life becomes when mature and in the corner of your drawer tucked away like a cabin or a hogan in dense trees come come knocking and i will answer give you directions and let you warm yourself by this fire rest by this fire 
and make you feel safe. I love you. It's all I have to give. And it's all anyone needs to live. And to go on living inside when the world outside no longer cares if you live or die.
Pablo Neruda. Innumerable critiques praised Neruda as one of the greatest poet to write in Spanish during his lifetime. However, his works had a challenge. Most of Neruda's poetry was very hard to translate. And his works in English was just a fraction of all his creative works. Commenting on his writing, Mark Strand writes, There is something about Neruda, about the way he glorifies every experience, about the spontaneity and the directness of his passion that sets him apart from any other poet. It is hard not to be swept away by the urgency of his language. It almost sweeps you away. of red gold that you tread as you pass, the non-existent carpet. And when you appear, all the rivers sound in my body, bells shake the sky, and a hymn fills the world. Only you and I, only you and I, my love, listen to me. I have named you queen, only you and I, my love, I have named you queen. Oh, 
Spanish-American author to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Mistral's writing are emotional and it impresses her readers with a unique style characterized by her content for the aesthetically pleasing elements common amongst modernist writers. Hope and fear, love and jealousy, life and death, pain and pleasure, reality and the ideal, truth and dream, matter and the spirit. <coughs> Dichotomy itself has always been playing a crucial part in her life. And these elements find intense expression in her poetic renditions. already there, that the silence is perfect and that the flesh is gone, the call still is not heard, nor does the caller reveal his face. But perhaps this might be, oh my love, the gift of the eternal face without gestures and of the kingdom without form. And we go on and on, neither sleeping nor awake.
which was inspired from Japanese haiku, Spanish folk song, and New Age avant-garde poetics. Lorca's intense and passionate bond with Salvador Dali urged him to experiment with bold avant-garde themes that mostly bordered on surrealism. In the sky, there is nobody asleep. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody is asleep. The creatures of the moon sniff, prowl about their cabins. The living iguanas will come and bite the men who do not dream, and the man who rushes out with his spirit broken will meet on the street corner. The unbelievable alligator, quiet beneath the tender protest of the stars. 
Nobody is asleep on earth. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody is asleep. In a graveyard far off, there's a corpse who has moaned for three years because of a dry countryside on his knee. And that boy, they buried this morning, cried so much. Uh, it was necessary to call out the dogs to keep it quiet. Life is not a dream. Careful. 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 We fall down the stairs in order to eat the moist earth or we climb to the knife edge of the snow with the voices of the dead dahlias. But forgetfulness does not exist. Dreams do not exist. Flesh exists. Kisses tie our mouths in a thicket of new veins. And whoever is pain pains will feel that pain forever. And whoever is afraid of death will carry it on his shoulders. One day, the horses will live in the saloons. And the enraged ants will throw themselves in the yellow skies that take refuge in the eyes of the cows. Another day we will watch the preserved butterflies rise from the dead. And still walking through a country of grey sponges and silent boats, we will watch our ring flash and roses spring from our tongue. Careful. The men who still have marks of the claw and the thunderstorm and that boy who cries because he has never heard of the invention of the bridge or that dead man who possesses now only his head and a shoe. We must carry them to the wall where the iguanas and the snakes are waiting, where the bears are waiting where the mummified hand of the boy is waiting and the hair of the camel stands on end with a violent blue shudder. Nobody is sleeping in the sky. Nobody. Nobody is sleeping. If someone closes his eyes, a whip, boys, a whip! Let there be a landscape of open eyes and bitter wounds and fire. No one is sleeping in this world. No one, no one. I've said it before. No one is sleeping. But if someone grows too much moss on his temples during the night, Open the stage trap doors so he can see in the moonlight the lying goblets and the poison and the skull of the theatres. No one is sleeping in the sky. Nobody. Nobody is sleeping. Nobody. Nobody. Oh,
this is? If I look at the crystal moon at the red branch of the slow autumn at my window, if I touch near the fire the impalpable ash of the wrinkled body of the log, everything carries me to you. As if everything that exists, aromas, light, metals, the little boats that sail towards those eyes of yours that wait for me. Well, now if little by little you stop loving me, I shall stop loving you little by little. If suddenly you forget me, do not look for me, for I shall already have forgotten you. 
If you think it's long and mad, the wind of banners that passes through my life, and you decide to leave me at the shore of the heart where I have roots, remember that on that day, at that hour, I shall lift my arms and my roots will set off to seek another land. <laughs> but if each day, each hour, you feel that you're destined for me with implacable sweetness, if each day a flower climbs up to your lips to seek me, oh my love, oh my own, in me all that fire is repeated. In me, nothing, nothing is extinguished or forgotten. My love feeds on your love, beloved. And as long as you live, it will be in your arms without leaving mine.
Dylan Thomas was one who shied away from school and preferred to read all by himself. He read all of D.H. Lawrence's poetry and was impressed by the vibrant descriptions of the natural world. Fascinated by language, Dylan Thomas excelled in English and reading and he neglected other subjects. The poet dropped out of school at 16 and became a junior reporter for the South Wales Daily Post. As opposed to his contemporaries W.H. Auden and T.S. Eliot, Thomas didn't want to delve in themes of social and intellectual issues. Instead, he's known for intense lyrics that are highly emotional similar to that of the Romantic tradition. And death shall have no dominion. Dead man naked, they shall be one with the man in the wind and the west moon when their bones are picked clean and the clean bones gone. They shall have stars at elbow and foot. Though they go mad, they shall be sane. Though they sink through the sea, they shall rise again. Though lovers be lost, love shall not and death shall have no dominion. And death shall have no dominion under the windings of the sea, they lying long shall not die windily, twisting on racks when sinews give way, strapped to a wheel, yet they shall not break. Faith in their hands shall snap in two, and the unicorn evils run them through. Split all ends up, they shan't crack and death shall have no dominion. And death shall have no dominion. No more may gulls cry at their ears or waves break loud on the seashores. Where blew a flower may flower no more, lift its head to the blows of the rain. Though they may be mad and dead as nails, heads of the characters hammer through daisies break in the sun till the sun breaks down and death shall have no dominion.
figure in the world of American literature. Her works and verse is characterized by well-defined descriptions of the physical world and an air of poetic serenity. However, her literary works have underlying themes that include the struggle to find a sense of belonging and the human experiences of grief and longing. Tainted, trembling lips, 
with melody deep, clear and liquid slow. Oh, for the healing swing, old and low, of some song sung to rest the tired dead. A song to fall like water on my head and over quivering limbs dream flush to glow. There is a magic made by melody, a spell of rest and quiet breath and cool heart that sings through fading colors deep to the subaqueous stillness of the sea and floats forever in a moon green pool held in the arms of rhythm and of sleep. I am in need of music that would flow over my fretful feeling fingertips. Dove. Born in Akron, Ohio, Rita Dove 
was the daughter of one of the first black chemists in the tire industry. She was encouraged to read by her parents and she also excelled in school. Rita Dove made her formal literary debut in 1980 with her poetry collection, The Yellow House on the Corner. The work received praise for its sense of history combined with personal detail. Dove is unmatched at transforming a public or historic element. She re-envisions a spectacle and triggers the heartfelt thoughts historic moments always contain. That aside, Dove is also known for her lyrics and beauty in verse. Just when hope withers, the visa is granted. The door opens to a street, like in the movies, clean of people, of cats, except it is your street. You are leaving. A visa has been granted, provisionally a fretful word. The windows you have closed behind. You are turning pink, doing what they do every dawn. Here, here it's grey. The door of the taxi cab waits. The suitcase, the saddest object in the world. Well, the world's open, and now through the windshield, the sky begins to flush, as you did when your mother told you what it took to be a woman in this life. Just when hope withers, the visa is granted.
আমার জীবনের একদম গোড়ার দিকের একজন বন্ধু মানে আমার প্রথম অনুষ্ঠান যার সঙ্গে আমার করার সুযোগ হয়েছিল কলকাতায় ছয় মে দু সাল পনেরো বছর হয়ে গেল বাবা আচ্ছা শ্রাবণী সেন আসলে শ্রাবণী সারা বছর জুড়েই নানা রকম নানান মানুষের সঙ্গে অনুষ্ঠান করে কিন্তু আমাদের একটা কমন পাগলা ম্যাচে হঠাৎ আমরা একে অপরকে ফোন করে বলি এই অনেকদিন না কিছু করা হয়নি চল একসঙ্গে কিছু একটা করি এই যে একসঙ্গে কিছু একটা করি এই ভূতটা কিন্তু এই কিছু একটা যেটা বলবো আর কি কিছুটা ও বলেছিল তাই অনুষ্ঠানটা হলো তাই মানে শ্রাবণী সেই জন্যও একটা হাত তালি জমা করে এই যে অসামান্য সুন্দরী যে মহিলা দাঁড়িয়ে আছেন আপনাদের সামনে তার নাম অগ্নিমিত্রা পাল ভারতবর্ষের ফ্যাশন দুনিয়ায় অত্যন্ত পরিচিত একটি নাম আমার সঙ্গে আমি যখন যেমনভাবে বলেছি রিহার্সাল কর দেখুন একটা কথা বলি ও কিন্তু খুব রেগুলারলি কবিতা পড়ে তা কিন্তু নয় কিন্তু কবিতাকে ভালোবেসে আমিও যে কবিতার কোনো ব্যাকরণ জানি তাও নয় আমি কিচ্ছু জানি না আমি কারো কাছে কবিতা শিখি না আমি শুধু মনে করি কবিতা একটি ব্যক্তিগত অভিযাত্রা তা অন্তর কথন আমাদের সকলের অন্তর কথন এইটুকুর উপর ভরসা করে ও আর আমি মানে ওকে দিন ফোন করে আমি বললাম তোকে কবিতা পড়বে অন্যরা যদি অন্যরা যদি অন্য ডিসিপ্লিন থেকে কাউকে বলতাম বলব আমি কবিতা ও কিন্তু একবারও সেটা পড়েনি আচ্ছা করব তো এরকম নতুন কিছু করার জন্য খুব সাহস দরকার হয় সেই সাহসটা কিন্তু অগ্নি দেখিয়েছে এবং উনি আমার খুব পুরনো বন্ধু অগ্নি স্টেজে বসে এই সব মানুষের কবিতা পাঠ করেছে এবং আমি মুগ্ধ হয়ে শুনছিলাম আপনারা করতালি দিয়ে ওকে অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছিলেন এটা আমার কাছে একটা বিরাট পাওয়া আমি কি বলবো আমি যাই না তবে আইসিসিআরটা তো আমাদের কাছে একটা বিরাট চারণভূমি এবং ভাগ্যিস আইসিসিআর ছিল না হলে তো অন্য জায়গায় তো অডিটোরিয়াম পাওয়া যায় না গিয়ে অনেক রকম ফর্ম ফিল আপ করতে অনেক কিছু করতে টরতে হয় যেগুলো সত্যি আমার সময় নেই আমি মানে সত্যি পারবো না আর কি আমার সেই সময়টাই নিতে গৌতম দার কাছে আমি আমার কৃতজ্ঞতার শেষ নেই গৌতম দা না থাকলে আমি আইসিসিআর পেতাম না এবং গৌতম দার কাছে এবং আইসিসিআরের সমস্ত স্টাফ কোকুন্দা বাকিদের নামগুলো ভুলে গেছে আর মনে পড়ছে না নামগুলো সবাই মানে স্টাফ যারা তাদের কাছে আমাদের কৃতজ্ঞতার শেষ নেই তাদের জন্য আইসিসিআরের জন্য একটা হাত আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই আমার বন্ধু এক্সটি মা কমিউনিকেশন এটা আমার স্কুলের তিনজন বন্ধু এরা ফর্ম করেছে এই কাম্পানি তারা শুধুমাত্র আমার পাশে এসে দাঁড়াবে বলে এবং এসপিসি ক্রাফ্টের একজন পেট্রন আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই চন্দ্রাদি কোথায় এই যে বাইরে যে গয়নার স্টলটি দেখলেন এই হচ্ছে চন্দ্রাদি আমাদের মেম্বার চন্দ্রাদি বন্নি হাজ তার কাম্পানি তারা আমার পাশে এসে দাঁড়িয়েছেন আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই স্প্রিং আইডিয়াস কমিউনিকেশন সৃজিতা কি এখানে আছে অত দূরে কেন স্টেজে এসো যাও এসো স্টেজে এসো স্টেজে এসো 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 এই যে প্রচুর গণমাধ্যমের বন্ধু বান্ধবরা আমাদের সঙ্গে পাশে এসে দাঁড়িয়েছেন বা যারা আসেননি তাদেরও ধন্যবাদ জানাই সেটার জন্য সৃজিতা না থাকলে সেটা হতো না সৃজিতার জন্য একটা হাত দেয় স্প্রিং আইডিয়াস আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই সেঞ্চুরি ফ্লাইকে আমাদের বন্ধু সঞ্জয় আগরওয়াল ক্যারিং মাইন্স মিনু বুধিয়া আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই আমাদের পেট্রন কৌশিক রায় চৌধুরী উর্বশী বাসু আমাদের ডিরেক্টর সুদীপ বাসু আর আরেকটা কথা বলি যার সাহায্য ছাড়া আমাদের আমি ফুটপ্রিন্টস লিখতে পারতাম না চিন্তা করতে পারতাম না তার নাম হচ্ছে কাঞ্চন দত্ত তার একটা অফিস আছে সে একজন বিজ্ঞাপন জগতের খুব নাম করা মানুষ আমার তো অফিস টফিস নেই কাঞ্চন আমাকে দয়া করে একটু জায়গা দেয় তার অফিসে বসে বসে একটু রিসার্চ টিসার্চ করার এবং পাশে এসে দাঁড়ায় এই যে কাজগুলো আপনাদের কাছে পৌঁছেছে এই যে কুরিয়ারের যাবতীয় খরচ সরচ সব ওর কাম্পানি থেকে হাসি মুখে শুধু মানে অনুরোধ করেছি ও করেছে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আমাদের কাম্পানি থেকেই যাবে কাঞ্চনের কাঞ্চনের কিছুদিন না বলে না আমাকে এবং এটা আমার কাছে একটা বিরাট প্রাপ্তি এবং থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফর বিং হিয়ার Yes, this is curated by me, Rupal. No, that's, that's fine. It's, it's okay. I'll come to that, Rupal. Thank you very much for mentioning this. Um, 
the lovely boys and girls to see here are members of my arts collective, SBC Craft. Please, a big round of applause for all of them who worked very hard. The two anchors of the evening, Shweta, Pritha, AJ Salvatmi is for us in the kitchen, in the Mehendi Chakraburti, a gota event, a acta angule hate nara, shoot away. Ami boy by your care. Ami Dhonuva Chennai, Amadi sounded to show Bundura Chilen, Shubho Yung Shubho team, Papi, Shabai Gotham, Shabai Dhonuva Janetsi. At a short two announcement, J. Agami Shoturi November, J. Two Evasur Amar. I had a good career in Pono was to celebrate Kora Shavai Uddu Mietse. I am a Chuddujun artist to show me collaborate correct a touch for ICCR Munsi Agami Shotter in November. After the Shokoli Ashin, Karnapra to Janin, I'm the big cup on Kora Shompov Noi, Shokoli, Shokoli, if I be Janabo, social media should be Janabo. Agami Shotter in November, Shomdhala, after Shokoli to the Ashin, Kup Halakbe. In a certain advertising, I am the one who is 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 the one এই দর্শনটা রবীন্দ্রনাথ তো আমাদের সকলের প্রিয় আমাদের তো আরাধ্য দেবতা উনি আই আই এম এ কমপ্লিট এথিস্ট এক্সেপ্ট রবীন্দ্রনাথ ও ওনাকে আমি একটু শ্রদ্ধা ভক্তি করি তাই ওনার গানের মাধ্যমে যে আরাধনা যে নিবেদনটা আমি পাই আমি একটু খোঁজার চেষ্টা করছিলাম যে এমন আন্তর্জাতিক ভাবাপন্ন একজন মানুষ তার লেখার দর্শন আর এই সব কবিদের লেখার দর্শনের মধ্যে যদি কোথাও সংযোগ সূত্র থাকে সেটুকু খোঁজার চেষ্টা আর she would the she each or on chin who up nadir would the shiny with on or that footprints. Up in the Palo Legate, up in a shabby Palo Takbin, Shura Street, our Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>